Bonjour à tous and welcome to French for a day. This is my little French corner on YouTube where I love to share with you my love for France and I love to talk about French beauty, fashion and lifestyle. If you're new here and if you love beauty talks, I would love to welcome you to this lovely beauty community, so please consider subscribing. And if you're returning, welcome back, dear friends. Thank you so much for spending time with me and for watching French for a day. In today's video, we're talking about items that French women don't buy. French women are famous for their well-curated wardrobe and effortless chic, and there are certain items that they would never buy. So let's have a closer look at five items that French women would not buy, and we can generalize this video a little bit more and say that these are items that elegant women are not going to buy. The first item that French women are never going to buy, and this one is non-negotiable, is a fake handbag. It doesn't matter how much you want to have a luxury handbag, if you cannot afford it, then don't buy a fake handbag. Now, we know the popular saying, fake it till you make it. It might sound fun, but this doesn't work in life, does it? You don't want to disrespect yourself. I will not even start to discuss all of the reasons why you should never buy fake items, but let's start with the, the first and the most important one. It's illegal in most countries to buy fake items. And the second one, you really don't want to disrespect yourself because most people who own a luxury handbag and who are luxury lovers, they are going to understand, they are going to see that you're wearing a fake handbag and this is disrespectful to yourself. It is disrespectful to the brand as well. Fashion houses are always going to put a lot of hours into the making of a luxury handbag and there is a lot of handwork involved which you cannot get with your fake handbag. So a lot of times people are going to spot that you're wearing a fake handbag and this doesn't speak well about yourself. But you don't really need a luxury handbag to look good and very often French women are not wearing luxury handbags. Now let's take for example if you go in the metro and if you're using the metro it is not really safe to wear a Chanel flap handbag or a Milady Dior handbag because everyone is going to spot that and you are attracting unwanted attention from pickpockets. Shoes that you can't wear. Now, I'm sure that a lot of you are guilty of that. Raise your hand if you're guilty. I am one of you as well. Often in the past, especially in my 20s, I used to buy shoes that would not fit perfectly. They would be either too tight or the heels would be too high and I would just never use them. But I like them in store. I think, well, these shoes are so beautiful so nice and I'm gonna wear them but then who am I kidding these are shoes that I never wore and I have so many shoes unused completely new that I am constantly throwing away so from time to time I'm guilty of that as well but shoes have to be comfortable they have to be practical and you have to be able to wear them without torturing your feet so being and feeling comfortable comes first now as a lot of you probably know I'm not a fan of flip-flops and very colorful sports shoes, at least not in the city, but there are always very nice, elegant options of comfortable shoes that you can wear. So this was something very challenging for me. You know the popular saying, you can never have too many shoes. Well, you can actually have too many shoes because they are getting old. And it's always best if you have few pair of shoes, but you are actually able to wear them and they fit your style. And try to resist the urge of buying shoes that you are not actually going to wear or try to resist the urge of buying shoes that you are only going to wear on a few occasions, let's say shoes with very high heels, because those are really not elegant as well. And very few people can walk elegantly in this kind of shoes. Now, a lot of you probably are fans of the high heel Lobotan shoes. I'm going to show one here. And these they look beautiful on the website, but I have seen in my life, I believe that I have seen just two women walking confidently and walking beautifully in this kind of shoe. So if you can't walk in certain shoes or if they're too tight or if they 
are going to cause you blisters. Just skip them, don't buy them. Just have the power to say no, to have the power to skip them. And with high heeled shoes, you really have to learn to walk in them confidently and elegantly. Number three comes skimpy top and smaller size clothes. Now about the top, you always have to take into consideration your age and we say that you can wear everything that you want, but still you don't want to look like a rebellious teenager at the age of 40. If that makes you feel happy, of course, then do so. But I don't think that this is elegant. I don't think that it looks good generally in the city. There are just some tops that show too much, way too much. And I think that French women generally try to stay away from those and they look nice and elegant. Also, it's a big crime to buy clothes that are a size smaller, thinking that you're going to lose weight and thinking that in a month or two months, they are going to look good in you. There is a certain power in wearing the right size. If you do not have the right size, then it makes you look bigger. It doesn't look nice. If your clothes don't fit well and if they are too tight, this is never going to complement the way your body looks. It's only going to emphasize any imperfections that you have on the body. And on the contrary, if you have clothes that are the right size for you, they are going to complement your body shape, shape beautifully. And you're going to be much happier and you are not going to have new completely unused clothes because let's face it when you buy clothes that are a size smaller you rarely actually lose that weight so try to stick to the size that you actually are feel happy with the body that you have and enjoy life you don't have to look like a runway model to be happy right and here's something else that i think a lot of people forget our bodies change as we age so Usually at the age of 30, you're not going to have the same body shape that you used to have in your early 20s and your body is going to change over the years. And so is your wardrobe going to change and the sizes that you're wearing. This is something completely normal and aging is a privilege. Number four, French women always pay attention to fabrics and they usually don't buy cheap clothes. Now, when I say cheap clothes, I don't mean that you should buy designer clothes. Of course, very few people can afford that, but always look at the fabrics and make sure that when you are buying a certain garment, always take into consideration for how long you are going to be able to wear the garment. Now, usually cheap clothes are not going to be made of high quality fabrics and they are not going to last for a long time. So you're going to be forced to buy new clothes every season or every few months because they are not going to look well. They're not going to look good after a few washes. So you always have to think, and when I buy a certain garment, I usually think, well, can I wash this garment at least 50 times? And if I wash this garment 50 times, is it going to look just as good as it looks now? So this is my line of thinking when I'm choosing the garments that I'm going to buy. Of course, sometimes I feel attracted to certain garments that don't have the highest quality fabrics but the cut is so beautiful and one of these brands is going to be Karen Millen. Her fashion, uh, the fashion of this house is not expensive, it is somewhere in the middle but they don't always use the highest quality materials. However, the cut is so beautiful and they last for quite a long time. So there are always going to be exceptions to this rule. But when you're buying clothes and when you're buying garments, always make sure to choose the highest quality fabrics whenever it's possible and avoid to buy cheap clothes because usually the stitching is not going to be right. And there are certain small details that are going to give away that you're wearing something cheap and these cheap clothes are not going to be durable. So in the long run, you're not going to save money, but you're going to spend more time, money and effort in buying new clothes every season, um, as opposed to buying one garment that you can wear for a few years. And then number five is going to be spending money on logos and clothes and garments that have logos on them. You're not a walking advertisement for a certain brand. So you don't need to have logos all over you. This is something that always um, looks a little bit funny to me. It's not elegant. And 
Lately, I've seen the new collection of Dior. I'm going to pop a few photos here of a few garments that I really wanted to add to my collection. And there is a blouse that I really love. And unfortunately, with this logo, Dior, all over, this is a deal breaker for me. I really love the design. I love the cut. I love the fabrics but I don't like this logo. This is an absolute deal breaker for me. People don't need to know what brand I'm wearing when I go out on the street. I'm not going to advertise a certain brand, even if it's a Dior. And I love Dior fashion. I think that their garments are very durable. I have some pieces in my wardrobe that I've worn for years and I really enjoy that. But wearing logos is a big no for French women. After all, you're not a billboard. You're not a walking advertisement. So these were the five products that French women would not buy. Let me know in the comments below, are you guilty of buying any of these? I think that at least once in your life, you made one of these mistakes. Let's have a chat in the comments. Let's, let's discuss and let's learn and grow together. I always enjoy chatting with you so much and I always enjoy when you leave me comments and when we grow our community and we become closer. Thank you so much for spending time with me and for watching French for a day. I hope to see you next time. Bye.